Hello Libras, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Tarot. I am here to do your monthly reading for December 2019. All right, Libras, tapping into your energy. The first thing I heard was Many Men, that song by 50 Cent. So, of course, I pull up the lyrics and what stands out is Many Men Wish Death Upon Me. Blood in my eyes, dog, and I can't see. I'm trying to be what I'm destined to be. Then the next thing that stood out is, Lord, I don't cry no more. Don't look to the sky no more. Have mercy on me. Okay. Then I saw in my mind's eye the Nine of Wands, which is a card of endurance. Now, on this Nine of Wands card, we have someone who has a bandage over their head, indicating that they are battered and bruised. Now, this warrior is battered and bruised, but he's finding the endurance to persevere, finding the endurance to push through. Then I saw the vision of scales, like weighing scales in my mind's eye. Then I saw, I heard justice and then Libra. Then I got a vision of two fish, which is, they've been showing me the, um, animals more and more here recently. Two fish swimming upstream in unison together. So two Pisces, um, two water signs, fish symbolism. I delve, I delve right into that. So fish symbolism, I got a quote, faithful submerged in the waters of life. So with this human something there, and I underline faithful, there is some sort of faithful energy. Also symbolically, fish represent fertility, eternity. Again, there you go with that faithful, that link. Um, fertility, eternity, creativity, femininity, good luck, happiness, knowledge, transformation. Then I looked at my candle holder and was getting ready to replace the candles. And I heard, no, don't do that. Allow the candles to go out in this reading. It is necessary energetically because you're at the end of this stage. So when I what I wrote down for a translation for all of that together is that someone has gone through or is currently going through some tumultuous time that has caused them to be battered and bruised and no longer looking for angelic assistance or guidance. But there is an enduring or faithful love around you that you are not seeing. So let's find out what this message is about. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, angels of love and light, you are welcome here. Please fill this space. I am here to do a monthly reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for December 2019. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. All right, Libra, I've been instructed by my guides to do my reading slightly different this month. The card that I usually end with for card of advice is what I'm starting with to get a general read on the energy for the month. This is my Reawakening the Soul deck by Sundara Fawn. As I am shuffling the cards, there is a gathering of birds outside my patio. I want to say about 200 of them, starlings which I am visited by um, quite often. Now, when starlings gather, it is in preparation for something. So here another hundred or so just came. So it's an anticipation of something. So one card, thank you, and it's out. One card for a general read on the energy for the month, unknown. Duality, light and dark, part of the same whole. Duality does not really exist. It's all part of the same whole. Night and day make up one day. Uh, excuse me, night, yeah, light, day and night make up one full day. So that's the best way to look at this card. So it's all about incorporating separate pieces into a whole. So I'll go ahead and use my Archangel, no, 
I'm using my uh, Psychic Tarot Oracle deck for the main read. What messages do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for December 2019? Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, December 2019. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, one more. December 2019. Thank you. Message for Libra, Sun, Moon, thank you, and Rising. For de thank you, December 2019. Thank you. I have three. I'll go ahead and jump us in. So first card out was patience. Card number five. Fives are about change, conflict, patience. This is like the temperance card in the traditional deck. It is a major arcana. Then we have light, the sun. Card number 19. 19 reduces to a 10. Tens are about completion, this is the sun card, the best card in tarot. Another major arcana. So starting off with heavy energy, two major arcanas back to back. Unknown, choose wisely, card number seven. Sevens are about the journey to your God self. Seven is a God number. That journey to your God self is about journeying to your higher consciousness. Choose wisely. Anything else? For Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Flipping over in the deck, we have our base chakra for December 2019. Libra, December 2019. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For, thank you. I got three chakra cards back to back. So either someone has been doing great chakra work or you need to do chakra work. So the first chakra card coming out is the base chakra card number one. Ones represent new beginnings. The base chakra is located at your tailbone, at the bottom of your spine. And the color is red. A good affirmation or the affirmation that I use is I am deeply rooted. I am sacred ground. Then we have the third eye chakra showing up at the center of our reading. Card number six. Sixes are about the journey to harmony. This third eye chakra is the sixth chakra. The color is indigo. And the affirmation I use is, I have a right to see past the veil. Then we have the solar plexus chakra. My apologies, Libra. My camera shut off just on its own. I'm not sure why. And I, my angels drew my attention to it. And so I had to go back and find out what it recorded and what it didn't. So the solar plexus chakra, uh, card number three, Yellow is the color. Solar plexus is located above your belly button. It's your center of strength and power. Threes are about connection and communication with the angelic realm. Then we have face up firm foundations with the number four. Fours are just about that foundations, family, stability. This red border indicates something in the physical 3D. Then mental conflict, card number two. Twos are about partnerships, alliances, a choice between two. Being in two minds about something. This emperor, card number four. My emperor is a boss, a leader, a husband, a father. He runs empires. Second four in our reading. Stability, family, foundations. And then finally, positive movement forward, cart number eight. Eights are about movement, abundance. This is movement and abundance in the 3D. At the bottom of our deck, trapped in fear, another number eight. This is in a self-imposed mental prison. This whole reading is based on this self-imposed mental prison. So we have two eights, two fours. So it's gonna be double movement and abundance energy and double foundational energy. Okay, something was illuminated to you that caused you, it almost rocked your world, okay? It caused you to 
be unstable in some sort, some way. So mentally, emotionally, it rocked you, okay? There was some sort of illumination and then it puts you in a phase or a state of needing to make a clear choice. Now, this whole line, presently, you're having to do some chakra work, specifically with your first, sixth, and third chakra. One, six, three may be a uh, number you see often. It will act as confirmation that this message is for you. So there's some chakra work here from the rooted to the tutors, just what I heard. So then um, that means a lot of chakra work from the head to toe is, is needed, but we only have here the base third eye and the solar plexus chakra. So this must need the attention currently. And a building of a firm foundation here in a 3D, but someone's in a mental conflict about it. Who? This emperor. Either the emperor has a mental conflict about this or you're conflicted about an emperor. Emperor is Aries. And again, someone is trapped in fear. This whole reading is based on, one, on someone trapped in fear. But there's been some sort of intuitive download guidance, intuitive inner knowing um, that all of this information surrounds. Okay, this is um, going to have to be stitched. There is interruption after interruption, but that only happens when the message um, how can I say this politely? Uh, when it's a message that needs to be heard, but opposing forces don't want the message heard. Um, so I'll go ahead and start at the top of the reading um, with Temperance, wise temperance here. Clarify temperance, please. Why is temperance here? Clarify temperance. Why is temperance here? Thank you. So you've gone through some sort of hangman act activity and gotten enlightenment, but the enlightenment is something that you did not want to hear because you're needing patience and you need to temper your emotions. So the hangman in reverse, that means that period is already over and you've gained your enlightenment. Coming out as a challenge, your enlightenment told you you need to cut someone off acting as the queen of swords. This is my no-nonsense queen. She does not tolerate crap. She will welcome you with one hand and cut your tail off with the next. Queen of swords represents Aries, Libra, Gemini. So needing to cut someone off but you're a challenge to, but this cutting off allows you to move on to calmer waters with the Six of Swords. So there's temperances here because this download that you got was about severing a relationship and moving on to calmer waters. And you're needing to temper your emotions to have clear thinking. The sun is here, the very next card. Let's find out why the sun is here. Clarify sun, please. Why is the sun here? Why is light here? Clarify light, please. Why is light here? Thank you. Clarify light, thank you. All these cards come out as a challenge. So first card out as a challenge is face down till it's unknown. The sun is here because there's this brand new, prosperous new beginning. There are murmurations of thousands of birds outside my window right now. Literally thousands of birds. Um, this huge, prosperous, new beginning, a new job, a home, a win. It's a challenge and unknown by one or more parties. Also a challenge face up, so known, to give tangibly to a situation. A challenge to deliver the truth, clarity, and victory. You got all this good energy. Good card, great card, best card in Tarot. Great card, prosperous new beginning. 
great card, new beginning and clarity and truth. But they're all a challenge for you. Let's see if I can get anything else. <sighs> when this is a challenge, all of this good er energy, there is a misuse of your energy. Okay, I, I only get it the way that I that I, I only tell it the way that I get it. You don't have all of this good stuff and still be challenged with it unless you're not balanced. So that's why duality is here. You're out of balance. You're out of whack. Got all of this good stuff coming and you don't know what to do with it. What I have additionally to finish the line and a challenge, no strength. Your weak, weakness. Virgo, I hear it clearly, the hermit. The hermit is um, going inside, seeking solitude and letting the guidance that you get in the solitude lead you forward. Unknown. Challenge to put something to rest. Now there's been illumination that there is a new, huge, prosperous beginning, but it's not where you wanna be. So this light illuminates this new beginning. That's why you're struggling with it because you don't, you don't want to leave where you are. It illuminates that you need to tangibly give. It illuminates that you need to be clear, concise, honest. It illuminates that you don't have the strength to. It illuminates that you are, have already sought the guidance and got the guidance, but you're struggling to bring it to closure. You can ask for signs all day. People do it all the time. But when the sign smacks you in the face, you're unable to interpret it. Guess why? Because you don't want to hear it. It's not what you anticipated. Choose wisely is the next card. Let's find out why it's here. Needing to choose wisely. Yeah, you're out of balance. Out of whack. Out of balance. So that's the first thing that you want to do is restore balance to yourself. So what comes out first, hitting on the authority or the emperor in a challenging position. So this emperor is the one who's generating the information, excuse me, the energy in this reading. And he's having a hard time bringing justice to a situation. But because this card, Choose Wisely, is here, it lets me know that his decision isn't hard. What's hard is to follow his guidance. So he wants to do things his way. So Choose Wisely. Also in a challenge about moving on to calmer waters. How you move on to calmer waters is just that, what I heard. After betrayal. All of these are still in a challenging position. Oh, a little tad bit of advice to you. You don't move correctly, you get crap back. You take the guidance that you've been given and you do things the right way, you get good stuff back. What's the hard decision? Why is the base chakra here? The hard decision, you're trapped in fear. Scared, scared. Stopping yourself from doing those things that you know are necessary, that you know is right. That's what I just heard. Base chakra, why is it here? Needing to do some grounding. Go out in nature, go barefoot, dig your toes into the earth. Anything else for base chakra? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so for base chakra, firm foundation, falling near it in a challenge, removing options, confusions, illusions, and love. Also unknown in a challenging position. Four of Wands. Four of Wands is indicative of a happy home, a happy life, happy family, happy marriage. It's a challenge. Strength again and as a challenge. Weakness. And in the reverse, no victory. You're losing. 
you know, because you're not grounded, how can you make any solid decision and you're not grounded? So the base chakra is here because you're challenged to bring clarity. This is about confusion, illusions, options, about a home, about a family, about a uh, marital life. You are lacking strength and you're currently in a lost state. Losing. No victory. Let's see what this download was about that you're so afraid of enacting. What's this intuitive hit? Tell us about the third eye chakra, please. <laughs> about a missed opportunity in love. Four cups. What else about this third eye chakra? Why is the third eye chakra here? And positive movement forward with the chariot or cancer. Why is the third eye chakra here? And a card falling on the left side of my chair, which is feminine energy. Because it's your ten of pentacles. Yeah, so someone has been has left someone that they have been divinely guided to stay with. It's the best way that I can say it. It's their Ten of Pentacles. It's their legacy. And there's been some sort of intuitive hit about not missing this opportunity and having positive movement forward to get your Ten of Pentacles. Now, the challenge comes in because it's somewhere different than where you think you should be. Okay. See if I can get anything else. Last pass for the third eye chakra. Thank you. And there's some sort of challenge to end something with this emperor. Or the emperor's challenge to end something. And offer up love. Truth, clarity, and victory. And temperance in the reverse. So I'll give it to you the way I got it. So the emperor right here is challenged to bring an ending to a cycle. Now this cycle, the ending of this cycle allows him to freely give love elsewhere. To come to a place of truth, clarity, and victory. But... Temperance, you're out of whack. You're not balanced. Double confirmation. Temperance, temperance, same de same card, different deck. And that's why this middle line is all chakra cards. You have to first deal with your internal energy and get that synced up and balanced before you can make any balanced move elsewhere. And that's what this download has been about. And where you've been directed is your Ten of Pentacles. So that's legacy. That's stuff that will provide for you and future generations. So it's foundational things. So since you're wanting to lay a strong, firm foundation, please get centered and clear before you make any movement, choices, or decisions. Tell me about the solar plexus chakra, please. Why is the solar plexus chakra here? Thank you. Strength to stop obsessing. You need strength, and I don't need any more cards. Yeah, you're obsessing about something or someone, and you need strength to stop. Obsessive behavior is not good. That means you're out of whack. If you're obsessing about something, that's why you got this whole line full of chakra cards. Do your work. Fix your broken pieces. Stop attaching to outcomes. Live fluidly. Flow with life. Live in the now. Trust that whatever God brings to you is for your highest good. When you get to that point of thinking, then you don't worry about outcomes. There is a firm foundation here. Tell me about this firm foundation, please. 
thank you. Yep, yeah. with your wife, it's with your wife, it's with your wife. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so what I have, and I'll give them as they came out. So nine of wands, endurance, endurance, perseverance, okay? Your firm foundation comes when you persevere, when you endure. With who? Your queen of pentacles, your wife. If this is not someone who is your wife, you live with her and she takes on the role of wife. Also, unknown. King of wands, taking no action. King of wands represent fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And the re this is my action in it excuse me, action air oriented, go get it, go oriented king. He takes action aggressively because he knows what he wants. In the reverse, this action oriented king isn't taking any action at all. He stalled. Why is he stalled? Because there is a strange but true message that he needs or wants to deliver but currently, he's in a state of pause or rest, rejuvenation. Because falling on the floor on the left side, there has been some feminine energy that has taken on seven of swords energy. So seven of swords is any funky stuff that you can think of is covered by this card. Subterfuge, theft, uh, interloping. Sneaking away to be with someone else. Any crap behind your back. So this masculine, this emperor. Now, the person that has done this is not your wife. This is an outside energy that has had seven of swords energy with you. You're trying to move past it. There is a wife figure involved that you need to come clean up clean to period you need to come clean to her but you're not taking any action you're in a rest phase right now thinking about stewing over replaying this seven of swords energy that's what has you in a mental conflict and who yes the emperor but right after you work through all of this energy and the spread we have positive movement forward Let's see what that looks like. Tell me about positive movement forward, please. Why is positive movement forward here? Why is positive movement forward here? Please tell the story of positive movement forward. Thank you. <laughs> Ending something. So, yeah, you'll, you don't have the strength now, but you're going to get it to put an end to this, what you've been divinely guided to do, okay? And also, yeah, she comes out in a challenge, but she's reversed. And the reason why my guides did this is because when I see this black cat right here, when this queen of wands, only this card is in reverse, it lets me know that there's some sort of manipulation of energy, some sort of black or dark magic trying to keep you attached to a situation that you are to release. So what I just heard clearly is that sometimes you move around and you uh, uh, are seeking this person, not even fully understanding why. It makes no sense to you why. You really don't even like the person, but you're drawn to them. And it's because they are doing some sort of dark magic. And that's that. I'm done. Let's get us a card of advice. And as I, um, this is my deck that I usually do cards the card of advice with and I opened it with duality and I knocked the card on the floor and my God say it's it I believe that nothing comes out that doesn't have to so it, it's applicable to this reading you need to grow spiritually grow understand the forces that you're dealing with once you understand those forces then you can navigate them Card of advice pulling from my mystical shaman oracle deck. 
It came out fast. It's one card, unknown. I'm only reading the medicine from this per my directives from my um, guides this month. This is the card of advice to navigate this energy and this spread. The witness. Card number 64. 64 breaks to a 10. Tens are all about completions of a cycle. It's over. This cycle is over. You simply need to release it. But before you can do that, you need to make yourself whole. You're fragmented. 64. Another sign got the witness as advice this month. Also, 64 is the last card in this deck, which is further confirmation that this cycle has completed the medicine. Acknowledge your preconceptions ideas and feelings about the situation you are in, but resist the urge to change any of it. Do not fall back into your controlling patterns. Instead, take a few breaths and connect with the joy of not having to perform. Hold space for the world to keep spinning on its own. This is growth for you because you're used to controlling everything. I just heard it. witness. I hope this message was helpful for you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this reading, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Until next time, I'm wishing you guys miracles and blessings. Namaste.